happy Monday. I almost said Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Time just all in my world is always messed up, but it's all good. I am going to do this video inside and you're still going to hear traffic, but I wanted to do it out by the water, but we have been having gusting winds 30, 40 miles an hour and that's, I can't report it now. But I wanted to share today on something that had happened. <laughs> I went to town because it is Monday, so I try to go at least every other Monday, twice a month to town, run errands, do whatever I need to do. And I get a phone call from this person who, um, let's just say I'm definitely practicing kindness, mercy, grace. This person, um, has attacked me as a person, you know, has attacked my faith. Um, but I don't turn away phone calls because, you know, what if that person was in a serious crisis or, you know, um, I don't want that on my conscience. So I, before I answered, I smiled to myself and I asked for strength. So this person said, hey, are you coming to town today? And I said, well, I'm already in town. Generally, this person's always asking for money. And I no longer give money. But um, if they need gas, I'm more than happy to go to the gas station and help out or what have you. So this person just said, hey, could you, when you go get your groceries, could you pick me up? Uh, something and I said sure so he told me what it was and then I'm in the store and he said hey could you afford to get uh, me something else and that way I could cook it and I said yeah sure absolutely so I did that and that person met me out in the parking lot and I'm not telling you because I want uh, kudos to me but this is how God works so this person, I had, I haven't like seen him in a while, but you know, face to face, and man, it just looks like life is just whew, hitting him left and right. That's the Lord's dealing with him, and um, he said to me, "Well, thank you, first of all, which was nice. He didn't have to thank me. I, I love doing stuff for the Lord. I truly do, and." Um, but then he like commented on, oh my gosh, you know, you're, you just look different. And, you know, and I told him, well, I'm doing things to, to make myself feel better because um, God has given me direction and he has shown me what I'm to do. And it has not been easy, but I'm doing it and I've been doing it. So we talked for a while and he just kind of, he actually was leaning into my passenger front window and really not just saying anything. And so I'm just praying within myself for this person because uh, here is a person that at a drop of a dime will call me everything but a child of God. And, you know, and I have even said to him in the past, look, I don't know why I keep doing this other than the Lord has not told me to shut the door on you. So in Luke 6, 35, it reads, But love your enemies and do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and to the evil. That is the Lord. He is, he loves the just and the unjust just the same he doesn't love me any more than that person who's out there you know doing whatever that person is doing against God and when he curses you know against the Lord and stuff years ago I used to really feel like I had to defend the Lord and it was like Gracie you don't have to defend me and I mean really like who am I thinking that I am all powerful and wonderful Gracie can you know, um, do that, defend the Lord's honor. The Lord is the Lord and he could do that. God is mighty. And, uh, 
today I looked at this person differently than I've looked at this person a long time. Um, my prayer for this person today was different. My prayers in the past were, oh, Father God, you know, you know what's going on with this person. I just pray that you just break all strongholds. The prayer that I started praying today was just completely different. Though appearance-wise, he looked broken and defeated and like life is just kicking him hard. That's on the outside. But on the inside, in his silence, standing outside my car window, leaning in for like 25 minutes, I saw, and I could cry, I saw God's grace and mercy over that person. So, <clears throat> sorry, I, I love the Lord. I just love how he is. So, I've been spending the last few hours just like thinking about that. Like, instead of, not that I had hate for that person, but man, I just, you know, I thought he has such a foul outlook on life and he just spews it all over me, you know, when, and it was only because I would say, I have no money to give. I have no money to give. And then, it, you know, he would attack, but that, that's the sicknesses that he's battling right now. And so I just, God just opened my eyes and I, I just saw this person so differently that my prayers are different for this person now. And, um, will I loan him money? No, I, I'm not. Well, first of all, I don't believe in loaning you know, you give money, if they give it back, it's a blessing back to you. But, um, but I saw this person in a different light. I won't be answering my phone prior to answering it saying, oh, oh Lord, give me strength. Help me, help me, help me. You know, um, I, I, I just saw him differently and that's God working in me because God loves the unrighteous and the evil as much as he loves you as much as he loves me we are all his children we just have choices you know i could go down that same road um i always say but by grace there go i you know it's just by his grace and i'm forever grateful and thankful that um i have the lord jesus who died on the cross for you and me for all of us, you know, and, and we do have choice. We, we could either receive him, we could serve him, we could obey our Heavenly Father, or we could go about our business in this world, a world that does not care about anything. A world that does not care if you eat, if you sleep, does not care if you're running around the streets high as a kite, if you're robbing, if you're killing, it doesn't matter. So, I rather serve a God and not serve anyone or anything in this world. You know, uh, I just feel a peace today. It's been a really good day, a super good day. And um, I'm just real grateful and thankful that, you know, God opened my eyes. I'm always asking the Lord, please show me, point out areas that I need to work on, that I need to get better at. And there it was. There, there was some, I didn't even think I had an issue with it because I would answer my phone, but <laughs> I would be reluctant when, you know, hey, can you this or that? And it's like, oh, gee, I don't want to. In my head, I would never say it, but it was like the Lord, I, I'm to do it just to do it. I'm to do it for the Lord. So I challenge you. Do you have areas in your life that you're struggling with? Or maybe you don't even know you do. Like I had no idea that was an issue until the Lord pointed that out. And by his grace, it totally changed me inside. So um, I challenge you to pray. Ask the Lord to search your heart, to point out any area that you're truly not honoring God at. See, he changes us little by little from glory to glory.
And just remember that, you know, the Lord loves you right where you're at. You do not have to change a thing today. You do not have to wait till you're perfect, whatever that may be, to receive the Lord. You don't have to wait for a better job, a nicer car, better clothes. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't have to. He loves you unconditionally right where you're at. I was so tattered and broken. And he just received me, and here I am. Praise God. So it's a good Monday. I'm really happy for this day. Tomorrow is Love Yourself Tuesday. I'm totally loving this whole fasting and the way of eating. Uh, God is just good. He just has so many things uh, coming and changing for me, and i um, I'm learning not to rush through things. I have some changes in my van I'm going to be doing. So when it's time for me to leave in a few months, that I'm set, ready to go. You know, God's good. Amen. So don't forget. Love your enemies. Even the Lord does that, right? Amen. Okay. Like, share, subscribe. I really love it when I get comments. Um, I, don't know, I just love it. It makes me feel all happy and warm and fuzzy inside. And I ask that, you know, if, if you need prayer for anything, which I always pray for everybody that comes across my channel, it's just a, a open prayer that I do. But if you need something specific, let me know. If you just want me to put you on my uh, prayer list that I have ongoing, you know, let me know. I'm happy to do it. But I always ask, please pray for me because Lord knows I could use prayer each and every day. So go do something wonderful, something great, something kind, something loving. Do it in honor of God. This is Gracie, and I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. Take care. Bye.